welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Bernice. I make videos about videos, freelancing, and digital marketing. If those three things are your cup of tea, please make sure to like and subscribe because I try my very best <laughs> to upload videos every single week tutorials and you know everything else in the digital marketing industry that you might find useful and in this video we are going to be talking about how you can create a customized business email so it goes something like hello at yourcompany.com and there are two things that is required in this tutorial and that is your domain name from your hosting site and a Gmail workspace registration. So that's what I'm going to walk you through today. And again, before you proceed to creating a business email, I do hope that you already have a domain name settled. So with mine, I'm going to make one today for my very new business, which is the digital marketing agency. It's called Studio Callista, and I'm going to be making a business email for that. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So remember that one of the requirements that I asked of you is a hosting site with your domain name registered. With mine, I use Namecheap because I've been with them for a long time now. Um, my very first website, which is like dummybernies.com, has been with them for a long time, for as long as I can remember. And I never stopped using them. It's very easy for me to connect them to WordPress, which is where my website is hosted. And then they are pretty much a well-known hosting site. And that's why when I try to integrate it with other softwares that I'm using, it's very easy. So Namecheap all the way for me. If you do not have a domain name just yet, you can go to namecheap.com and somehow think about a domain name for your business. When I create a business name or a course name or whatever that is that needs a website, I always think about the domain name first. So as long as it's available and it's within my idea of the name of the course or the business, then I'm going to buy it right away. So you can type in, say for example, say hi to your students.com. I don't know why just that just appeared in my head, but if you're going to search that one, you have a lot of domain options. You can go with .com, .academy .net, .org, .ai. I always tell my students to go for .com because then it's very easy for your audience to remember it compared to .co, .net, you know, unless they are merely clicking the link to where you are redirecting them to, it's easy. But if they're just thinking about buying something from you out of the blue and they do not remember what your website or your domain name is, then you're losing the sale right then and there. So it's always good to go for .com. I do not have any sort of domain that is not .com. So there's that. Next step is to go to workspace dot google dot com and click the start free trial i have already done it and it redirects you to this page that says let's get started with your business name i'm going to put mine studio calista number of employees including you for now i'll just put just me and the region is philippines where i'm currently living what's your contact info i'm going to put demi bernice of course my name and then eslit current email address I'm just going to put my email address bbslit at gmail.com and the next does your business have a domain see this is why i had you purchase a domain name first you can also get it from them but i doubt that it's gonna be cheap i think it's gonna be expensive i did not try it yet getting a domain name from them but i'm just gonna click yes i have one i can use and then the domain name is studiocalista.com okay that's my domain name so whatever domain name you purchase from namecheap hosting or godaddy whatever that is you're going to put that here click next and use this domain to set up the account next stay up to date we'll send you occasional emails with helpful tips special offers no thanks educate your users we'll send your users information about the google workspace apps no thanks Alrighty. you'll use your username to sign into your google workspace account and create your business email address so this is where the magic happens you can write hello at studiocalissa.com or 
something like me at yourbusiness.com, info at yourbusiness.com, hi at yourbusiness.com. For the main admin email, we usually use hello. And then everyone else who is a member of studiocalista.com who has their very own personal business email, I just use their first names. So with my other businesses, we have DemiBernice.com and my team members have Rachel at DemiBernice.com, Rebecca at DemiBernice.com. Uh, they have their very own personal business emails so that if they need to interact with some of my audiences or my customers and my clients, they're going to send that email to that. But this is what we're going to do here. You can do hello, your first name, but in my case, I'm just going to do hello at studiocalista.com. Password. Of course, I'm not going to tell you what my password is. How dare you? Okay, now your Google Workspace account has been created, ready to set up your business account and get hello at calista.com. Working with Gmail, we'll walk you through each step. Continue to set up. So it's actually very straightforward. And they're also going to give you instructions on how you can connect it to Namecheap because you need that. There are specific records from your hosting site that Google needs in order to redirect the emails from their space to Google's space, right? So I just, you know, follow these ones, protect your domain name, once we verify ownership, we can connect this Google Workspace account with your domain name, studiocalista.com. Okay, we'll guide you step by step. The first one is protect your studiocalista.com. Make sure no one else can use. Help you verify your DNS records. When NameT publishes, your DNS records will look for the verification code. Before you start, make sure you have your NameT account and password, just like I told you, right? and I'm going to click I'm ready. Okay, see there, they have really detailed instructions. So first one, sign in to your account at Namecheap, manage your domain, advanced DNS. So I'm going to do exactly just that, studiocalista.com, manage, and click advanced DNS. And then we're going to go to step two, add a new record. Select text record from the type drop down list. Click TXT value in the table below to copy the code. So, this is why I trust Namecheap and I keep on using Namecheap because even Google knows what this hosting site is. So, the more unfamiliar your hosting site is, it's a lot more difficult to connect it to different softwares. So, I'm just going to be doing this. I'll copy the TXT value, text copied to clip, clipboard. Add a new record, txt record, at, paste, automatic, save, save all changes. So now it's all done. I'm going to click protect domain and it says here, checking your verification records for pseudocalista.com. You can close this page and return later, five minutes remaining. So we're gonna have to wait for that. Lucky for you, you don't need to because then I'm gonna pause this video. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's job protecting my domain. Great job, Sudicalista is protected. You can now set up Gmail as your business inbox and start using Drive, Docs, Sheets, and more. Are you a team of one? Are you a team of many? Uh, blah. Continue. <laughs> okay, the second one is create new users. So this is if you have team members. In my case, I'm going to add myself because I'm guessing that hello at Studio Calista is going to be accessed not only by me, but also my team members, you know. So at least I have my very own, uh, which is Demi at StudioCalista.com. So I can put there Demi Bernice, or let's just say I'll put another team member in, Rebecca Mumbiar, and we're going to just say Rebecca at studiocalissa.com, right? And then save user. Okay, so it's already added. Uh, not sure exactly why that is. So you can click finish and that should be done. I don't know why it's not working, but you can now activate um, so and so, see his uh, email address added. Is now the best time to update your email settings? So and so, I'm ready to activate Gmail. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, so now we're going to go back again to the part where we're going to add 
new DNS records. And in the previous one, we added a TXT record. This time we're going to be adding an MX record. So we're just going to do it again. Manage advanced DNS, I'm right here. And then go to step two, we have Gmail. Scroll to mail settings, here's mail settings. And then we have to click Gmail. There you go. All right, and then I click Gmail and then save changes and that should already activate the Gmail changes. Okay, mail settings successfully saved. Go back to this one, activate Gmail and ooh, more MX records. Ah. <laughs> okay, so in my case, great job. MX records are already updated. What to expect next? Typically, you can send and receive messages at your new Google Workspace email address in less than six hours. However, it may take up 48 hours before you receive email at your new address. So now I already have um, hello at studiocalissa.com and Rebecca at studiocalissa.com for my team member. So I can just click finish and I think it should redirect you to this. Yes, that's correct. Setup billing. You know, you can all you can do all these things, but as for me, I go directly to Gmail to check if it really is indeed there. So what I do, I just click on these dots, 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 and then Gmail. And because I have multiple emails, it redirected us here. I'm going to click studiocalissa.com. And here goes my new email address. So now you can get started and have people send you emails to the new business address that you just created. So it's very easy and simple. Most especially, I'm not going to say that it's gonna be the same exact easy process for everyone because this one, I use Namecheap and it's very easy because I think they already have some agreements together, you know, that, that, that let's make it easy for everyone, you know, Gmail and Namecheap and Gmail already had an agreement to make it easy for us. And so that's why I have this, but I'm not sure what hosting site um, you're going to go for. So it really depends. They also have different instructions for different hosting sites. So you might want to check that out. You can also check out the Google documentation for a specific hosting site before you go buy a domain from that hosting site. So you can go check GoDaddy to Google Workspace integration, you know, that sort, and see if it's a difficult process. And if it is, go for Namecheap. <laughs> and there you have it, people. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if it was, kindly click the like button so people would know that this is helpful. And hopefully there are going to be more people that will be helped through this very tutorial. And I'd like to congratulate you for your new business email. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it and brag about how you have a new business email. It's like everyone have people send you random emails. So and so. <laughs> so anyways, by the way, it's highways. I'll see you in the next video.